How's it going everyone? I'm gonna go through the Team Covenant 2016 Spring Tournament um, that Theorist hosted. And the championship game is Chilligan versus Fildo. And I wanted to go through some, some of the highlights leading up to that game. I'm gonna start with Chilligan. He used Vessery with VI, Title D, Tractor Beam, Twin Ion, that makes it so banks are green. Juno Eclipse, Predator, Advanced Targeting Computer, the TIE X1, and then a Poutmobile with Electronic Baffle. So if he either gets ioned, I believe, or stressed, then he can get rid of that stress and just take one damage. So the first game, and I'm just going to speed through, I'm not really going to be going through um, it entirely, is against Blair Bunky, and uh, Blair is using uh, an aggressor with Auto Thrusters, Ion, Advanced Sensors, Predator, Inertial Dampeners, with the Gunner, um, IGB, and then a Pirate, and then two K-Fighters, and Theorist gave K-Fighters an extra shield just to see if that would help them. So, I thought it was just interesting. Um, Chilligan went very slow, just kind of K-turning, barrel rolling, blocking himself. Just basically kind of waiting for Blair to come to him through the asteroids. And so the first several turns is, yeah, just kind of went that route. When they did get into range, um, let's see, no damage, no damage yet, no damage. Ooh, Juno lost a shield. Z lost a shield. Juno lost another shield. All right, so that was that. So lots of range three attacks. And Blair's getting up close, wants to uh, maybe get some bumps. And Poutmobile just stalls, uses Baffle to get rid of a shield, and he's going to target lock Pirate. Okay, so the target lock's there. And IGB covers up the target lock. Looks like he will barely hit, but he did have the vent sensors. Okay, he rolls, so he's fine. And Juno gets behind him. Vessery is able to tractor beam him, so and he wants to get him out of formation, makes it so he can't K-turn, maybe? Get behind the um, Poutmobile. And uh, actually, I think he's still able to do that K-turn. I checked it out and it is, he is able to. And, um, all right, so next attack. Uses the ability to get rid of all the shields and thrust control fire. Okay, so now he can't K turn. So that was pretty good. Pretty fortunate for Chilligan. Um, who's he going after? He's going after K2. And he's gonna able to just kill him right then and there. Vessery, he's gonna take the ion. So Vessery got ioned, and whew, that's some nice rolls. So two shields on Vessery, and then Palp with the target lock because of electronic baffle is able to deal a lot of damage. Two two hits, two crits. And so he just kills him right then and there. So that's an example of electronic baffle really, um, really doing doing well. So IGB does some self bumping, and um, Juno Juno gets in range one. Looks like Vestry's not going to have a shot. So Juno does really well. Two hits, two crits. And Chilligan's just wanting to get rid of all the support. Um, and, uh, yeah, I kind of talked about how he did electronic baffle again. Bill. So, kind of going through, okay, he didn't, he wasn't able to ion, I believe. Yeah, so, ion didn't work for IGB, unfortunately for Blair. So, Palps is going after K1, gets two shields on him. Or maybe not. I was talking, uh, okay, he shot him got, and got rid of two shields. So Palp returns fire and is able to just finish him off then and there. So 
So Juno's able to get behind him. Vessery's able to turn around. Um, okay, he barrel rolls. Is he still in range or in arc? I think he is. But I just really like this electronic baffle. He's able to just um, keep keep his target lock, and you know he's just setting up shop in the same spot, and uh, it's it's really working out well for him. So, and I on a vest. He doesn't have the any focuses. He does get three hits, so he did get ioned, unfortunately, but he's ioned going the right way for the most part. And Palp baffles again. And so Palp finally doesn't baffle, but then I think the next turn he Oh, he doesn't baffle. But um, the main reason I wanted to um, show this game was just how uh, baffle really worked to get some nice range one shots that were modified with the Palmobile. In this game, he's he's playing against friends who, um, I guess last year, won two national championships in Europe. And he's using Whisper with VI Sensor Jammer Callus, I didn't quite see, oh yeah, Callus on Vessery. And then Advanced Cloaking Device, Omega Leader with Juke, Com Relay, and then a Palmobile. So, I think this is the round that I was um, really Let's see. Okay, yeah, he did a two. Okay, he bumped himself with Palp. Oh, Whisper has to decloak first. So Palp, it looks like the nubs are exactly aligned. So he, he, um, is he he doesn't he isn't able to get past um, Juno, and that makes it so he's not really gonna get some good shots. It'll be range three, but um, it will be not modified. So four v two. He has to go after Palp and gets one shield. So tractor beam hits at Palp and then target lock for ability. So Chilligan just really wanted to go after um, Palpatine here. And Chilligan's able to get some crits through. So, you know, with with Pal being so far away, I think a lot of people might not have gone for him. But I mean, here he is at six or four hole left, and um, yeah, I think that's definitely a good call. So, and then this move. If, if you were in Chilligan's um, spot and you think about what moves you do, especially for the Palmobile. So Whisper decloaks to the left. See, I, I, especially after watching Blair's, I thought that he was just gonna set up shop and just kind of stay there with electronic baffle and uh, just get some good modified shots, but he decided to do a one bank, so that kind of surprised me. But um, he got one block there and another block there. So, I mean, that was, that was a really good move. And I think, I mean, especially since the round before, he was able to really hurt the Lambda getting those two blocks there. I mean, yeah, now he's out of position, but that was um, really key, I think. Um, I think that was really key. So from there, he definitely had the advantage and he, spoiler alert, as we already know, he won. So um, let's go on to Phil, though. 
Hey there, so this is Fildo's list. He's got Whisper with VI, Advanced Cloaking Device, and Fire Control System. And then Captain Oiken with Predator, Palpatine, Isan, and Engine. So between Palpatine, Isan, and Engine, pretty defensive. And then he's going up against uh, Triple Delta Defender list with Ion, Flechette, and Tractor Beam. And I'll just kind of quickly go through this. So the defenders are taking the first couple turns to see where Philadel is going to be. And they start making their way through the rocks. Doesn't look like any damage was done. Captain is um, able to dodge all the arcs and whisper doing four um, 4v5 gets a really nice roll. He's gonna be um, using Palpatine to put another crit in there and two shields will be going through. And then the captain is going to do 3v3. Wow, he's rolling pretty well. Only one um, more goes through. And from there, does Whisper take any damage? Looks like he's able to live through all that. So Whisper is able to um, get on their side and, and as they turned around to go after Oiken. And they're able to kill one right there. And Oiken lost a few shields. And defenders are turning around to go after Whisper. But Whisper is able to dodge both of their arcs. And here they're turning to go after Whisper. And again, Whisper is able to dodge both arcs. And that's pretty much game. So that was a really good example of um, using Whisper. All right, so we are here at the championship game, Chilligan versus Fildo. Talking as though it's live, but I think it happened like at least a week ago. So Chilligan is deciding not to stall like um, he has done in the past. And that lambda is going pretty aggressive, I think, towards the asteroids. Captain Oikun started off on the bottom right, and he's uh, made his way to the opposite side. So Juno and Whisper will be shooting against each other. Oh, Whisper has to move first. He's Pretty close to that debris, but is able to um, miss it. So whisper to Juno. Whisper is rolling pretty well. He's going to use that focus and two shields, and he uh, forced Chilligan to use Palpatine. All right. So Vessery is going to use the tractor beam against Whisper. There is no rock. He'll use his focus. Oh, and he'll use Palpatine to make it so it's avoided. That could have been pretty bad. That could have been a really bad start of the game for Fildo had that gone through. And Chilligan's rolling 3v5. And he gets target locks because uh, Juno has a target lock on him. And that's pretty decent rolling. But Whisper is able to match it, so nothing happens there. Juno at range 2 with advanced targeting computer. Looks like there's some confusion going on. Does Predator, so a hit crit. And Whisper still has that um, focus, so a whole lot of nothing against Whisper. And Captain is out of range and the Lambda is out of arc.
So Whisper decloaks forward. Because he says, because he has nowhere else to go. And the lambda clips the, um, the rock. So he gets a stress for the hard turn. Because he's not going to use... Um, He's not going to use the, whatever it's called, that new card that he has. <clears throat> Electronic Baffle. Okay, so he's going to stay stressed. Although, when did he lose that? I must have missed when he lost that shield. And Vessery is trying to turn. That might be a good thing that he got bumped. Hmm. And uh, Juno is right there. He's going to barrel roll and try to get the block in case Whisper turns in. Let's save that just so that we can see that for later and whisper decides to do a 4k so had whisper done uh, that would have blocked that and if he had done a three he would have gotten blocked so that was a great barrel roll um, let's just go back so that was a great barrel roll to block both options but um, Fildo could see that coming and did a pretty, that's a pretty good use of a 4k turn there and Chilligan's not too happy. <laughs> okay, so he's going after Juno who he has a target lock. Rolls a lot of focuses but hey, he's able to get four hits through there and Palpatine for a crit. And just like that, he is gone. So pretty clutch rolling through Whisper all throughout to um, to get rid of him. For both offense and then defense, uh, had he got put on that rock, that would have been disastrous. So 3v1 because there's through a, it's through a rock. He's going after Oiken. And two shields go down. And the Lambda is on the rock, so no attack. Well, Captain Oiken is going to fire at Palpatine. Well, does some great, great work there. And three shields. So Palp is down to one last shield. So at this point, Fildo has to be really happy with uh, where he's at. Palpatine has four shields gone, and Juno is out. And watching Chilligan's other games, Juno did a lot of damage with that Predator and uh, Advanced Targeting Computer. He was, damage output was really high there. So Palpatine does a one bank. Probably going for a block on Whisper there. And Captain Oikun gets the ram to uh, get rid of that last shield. And looks like Vessery gets bumped. Although, with Palpatine having a target lock on him, um, Vessery's attacks will be modified. And the Lambda is barely able to get a block there. So that was that was definitely necessary for Chilligan to still be in the game. So Whisper at range two, 4v3. Is he going to... Okay. So, Chilligan turns the D. Okay, so he used Palpatine. Which, he didn't use it for offense. Okay, so now Tractor Beam, 3v4. Gets two hits and a crit. 
But then Palpatine right back at you. And then for primary, oh, only two, and those two go through. Oh man, if if he didn't use that Palpatine for defense, he could he could have used it for offense and snuck a crit in there. All right. So I believe I watched this game before, and I believe this is one where stop and really think about what you would do in this situation. I think one of the players does one of the best moves I've seen in a long time here. So go ahead and pause it if you like. And otherwise, I'm going, going for it now. So whisper D cloaks to the right. It's, um, I think that was his only option. So Palpatine does a too hard turn there. And he's thinking about baffling, but he is not going to baffle. Oiken is going to get rid of one more hole. And Vessery. Man, look at that. Look how beautiful that is <laughs> right there. And then from there, he is going to barrel roll. And Whisper gets bumped. Does he fit? Nope, Chilligan placed it right where it needs to, and man, if if uh, if Chilligan knew that was going to happen, I'm sure he wished that he could modify that shot. He already has a target lock, so to have a focus here, but let's see what happens. So Oiken's going to go first, 4v3 to Vessery, hmm. And one shield is going to be going down. And then <laughs> Phil does say, Whisper better die. And oh, yeah. So with Palpatine. And just like that, Chilligan is back in the game. So can Oiken take a four hole Palpatine and an almost full life Vessery on? Palpatine gets rid of, so I was thinking it was a mistake to baffle, to not baffle there, but um, Chilligan's call was the right call. It worked out. Oh, that's too bad. Well, yeah, that might be too bad. That lambda doesn't want to be attacked here. So, Vessery 3v0. He uses the focus. And he's going to go after Palpatine. Palp versus Palp. Ooh, two crits. And he's going to Palp another, <laughs> so three crits. And then Palpatine will use that, but that's still three crits. And with 50% a direct hit, he says, oh, no directs. But if he gets bumped, then he's gone, so I don't know how he's going to get out of that. So Oiken just goes for the ram. Investory turns around on him. So, so Oiken's doing some work here. Too bad tractor beam is kind of worthless against a decimator for this matchup. So four hits and a crit. Maybe he needs a he needs a blinded pilot. He needs something. Structural damage. Oh, isn't that the worst one? Makes your agility negative one. <laughs> With tractor beam, you can get negative two. 
right, he's going after Vessery. He's yeah, I guess there's no point in going after uh, Lambda that's almost dead, that's already used Palpatine. And gets two crits through. Direct hit. So that is game. So that was well played by both players. Um, definitely Fildo had the advantage, but Chilligan was able to get back into the game. And then Fildo was able to close it out very well. So from here on challenge.com 2016 TC Spring Open, you can see the bracket and watch all of the games and log files of every player. If, um, especially if you're newer to the game, if um, one of the best ways to get better is take someone who's whose list that you can kind of relate to or that you want to try out and go through all their games slowly with the log file and uh, choose which moves you would do and then you can compare it to which one they did and uh, see which one is better. You just go to attachments and then right click, save link as, and then load it into Vassal. And uh, yeah, um, thanks Theris for running the tournament. Thanks for uh, playing some great games, you guys, and uh, thanks for watching.